And off we go, up around the corner, straight through this room. Now I'm getting a little bit wound up with this because I've forgotten on this version um, the moon crust is broken in half. So we're actually looking for five key items, not four. Um, but we'll find that in a little bit. Out the door, onto the first floor landing, which is nice and clear. Go along the balcony. Do, 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 do. And go straight through the double doors on the other side. I've got my shotgun equipped, just because it's a little bit easier. But I think I'm going to put my pistol on now. Yeah, put my, equip my pistol. This bit's a little bit easier with the pistol. Take the shots at the zombies. I've got enough ammo to be a little bit more liberal. Okay, all three of them are still alive. I haven't got a headshot yet. Um, keep your gun loaded. I'm, I'm being really liberal with pistol bullets. I really don't care. There's so many in this run through. There's just, you know, I've already got 110, so... He's down. Now, you come over to this side of the balcony for a reason. Push this statue. As you can see, I think it's actually got a crest in its hand instead of a gem as usual. Now, randomly I can shoot through the statue of that zombie. Line this up with the hole in the, the um, handrail and slide it off. As you can see, that is actually a crest. Normally that's a blue jewel. Oh, i still got a zombie alive. Not anymore, he's now dead. Reload your gun. Go through here. Now don't worry about going back to the back into the main area to go down to that floor. There's no need. You're going to want to go to the chest before you go into that room anyway. Go through a door in this corner. I will show you why. Zombies in this room. This is why you can equip the shotgun. He's a little bit closer than uh, most of the zombies. Oh my god, he didn't die in the four bullets I thought he was going to. Push him off. Walk up a little bit. Take the shots. There you go. That was the headshot I was hoping for the first time. Only on yellow fine, so I'm not doing too bad. Uh, there's more zombies in this area. So I'm actually going to get my shotgun out just to be safe. Go up around the corner. There's one there, as you can see. There's also one right there. So take his head off after he pukes on you. What a bastard. Get your pistol out. Turn. Take that guy out from the side of the balcony. He can't get you. There you go. I got the headshot on him. Equip your, reload your pistol. Run up this way. All the zombies in this area are now dead. There's only three. Don't worry about that window. Nothing comes through it. Go down here. Around the corner. I will quickly show you this. That door's locked with the carving of the helmet. Remember that room. Go up here. Go down the stairs. Now I'm going to clear this corridor. But in my other, other run through, I didn't clear it. This time I'm going to because I've got the ammo to do so. Do, 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 do. Go down the stairs. Walk forward. Apparently there's no zombies in view. Oh, that's because dogs appear in this corridor, not zombies. That sucks. Okay. Normally this corridor is populated by three zombies. This time it's dogs. Go into this save room. You want to remember this shelf because, as it says, vitamins and serums. Remember that. I'm grabbing these um, ink ribbons off the bed, so I have some for my chest. As you can see, there's a lot of them. There's a whole six there. Turn around, go to your chest, drop off. Um, you want to drop off that half of the crest. Don't need that. Drop off your ink ribbons, keep everything else, but take out the emblem, we're about to use that, and go back out of this door. Be ready, because as you saw a dog jump through the window, I'm going to try and neutralise that dog, because I really don't get along with dogs on this game. Hopefully he'll be a... Uh... yeah there he is. Oh he's right there, Jesus. I'm going to move so I can see him. Right, basically that dog was in a very assholey in place, he was right there. Take shots, just kill him. Wait for him to get up, make sure he's dead. I'm on red, uh, orange caution, which is not a good place to be. Um, I've got no heals either, because I left that green herb behind. Uh, this is me being very brave. Bra very brave. I'm going to go take out my F8 spray just to be safe. I'm not doing as well this run through as normal. Grab the F8 spray. Normally I don't use these, but on this game there's no rank system, so you don't have to worry too much. Uh, grab out that F8 spray. Let's go back out here. There, another dog is going to jump through the windows. Uh, I'm not sure where, but another one will jump through. Now, I'm not sure what's going to happen. He might have already appeared, but let's go up here. Hug this wall just to be safe. There he is. Run around the corner. And another one just to be safe. And go for this door straight away. Use the mansion key and run straight through it. Just to make sure that the dogs can't get to you. Now, when you come back out, the dogs will be a little bit calmer and they'll be in a fixed position. Go in here. Over here. Search the shelves. You will find... Is that a magnum? 
Holy crap, this is where they put them. They put the Magnum here. Wow, okay, that's caught me off guard. Search to the left of this. Bob's your uncle. I found a Colt Python. That is very, very early to be finding the strongest gun in the game. Holy crap. Go up here to the desk. The desk's locked. Use the lockpick. Open it. Bob's your uncle. Box of shotgun shells. 14 of them. Now I'm gonna probably kill these dogs and drop off my pistol. Go back out here. Um, I'm actually, what I'm gonna do, from here, I'm gonna run, I'm gonna go to the door on your character's right, left of the screen, just to make the reset of the dogs a little bit easier, so... Oh, no, never mind, I'm gonna do it now. Line up, general line, general... General line, take the shots at the dogs. Now, I'm only getting rid of these. Because they're gonna be a threat later on when I come back through here, so just get rid of them now. Make, save yourself some time. One more bullet for this one today, I think. There you go, that's all the dogs dead. Now, I'm gonna equip my shotgun, because I can't remember what's through here. Um, no, actually, first things first, go back to the save room and drop off the Magnum. <laughs> because the Magnum be is the strongest gun in the game, you want to save every bullet of that you find. Now, I'm gonna be really liberal with it, um, considering it's one hit kill, and I'm getting hurt pretty bad. So at a certain point, I'll stuck. I'll probably carry the bazooka and then the magnum. But drop off the magnum. You don't need it. Uh, um, 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 I'm probably carrying way too much. I should probably get rid of that shotgun. I'm gonna get rid of the shotgun. Get rid of the shotgun. Get rid of the shells. Not gonna need them. I've only got the emblem because I've got a puzzle for it coming up. Uh, go up here. Go out the door. Remember to re-equip your pistol. I haven't done that. Do do do. Uh, open your menu. Equip. Oh, that's equip your pistol. Now I'm running around on caution still, which is a little bit gay. I don't normally do this, but I don't care. Go up here around the corner. I've killed the dogs, so there's nothing to worry about. Go through this door at the end. Pray to God that the zombie is far enough away for you to kill before he hit uh, gets to you, because otherwise he might hurt you. Oh, there's two of them right next to each other. That's not healthy. He's running. He's running. Right, I'm bailing because. Oh, he fell over, thank fuck. That could have been very, very dangerous for me. He got a very, very close line straight towards me. He was running, effectively. And that guy can go down. Right, um, I'm going to try and remember what I'm doing. That guy's dead. Let's go up here. There's a zombie hiding around the corner, as you can see. Can't quite get a shot at him. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to walk up backwards, trigger him to come forward, and run away. Turn around. Turn around, he's there. Take the shots in, take him out. As you can see, he goes down. He's not dead. Kill him. While he's on the floor, put a bullet in. Go out around the corner. Go into this room real quick. Pretty sure you can't do anything in this room, because I haven't got what I need for it. But just go in there to check. I'm going to reload my pistol. As you can see, the cover is actually on the fence. The, uh, no, it's not. It's open. Check this, and it'll say an old pump. And it, it sends water. Go over here. As you can see, there is a plant. I can't get past that plant just yet. So you want to turn around, you want to go through this door. Back into this corridor. There's only one more zombie, as far as I remember. Uh, go up here, go around the corner. There's another zombie up here, but he's sort of hiding. Where is he? Nope, there's no zombie, okay. Go into this room, I'll just quickly show what's in here. Um, this is the tiger eye room. Yeah, it's too small for a zombie. That basically, you get two jewels, a red and a blue, put them in that statue, it gives you items. I'm just showing you where it is for reference. Uh, you have to come to this room anyway, because it's got one of the crests. Go back out. Turn. Go up here, go into this door on the wall here. Use the lockpick. Basically, Chris has to use a small key to open this room, which kind of sucks for him. Um, in here is a box of shotgun shells and a hangar magazine, and I will show you why we came in. I'm actually, I'm only doing this because I can't remember if there's anything vital. Now, this could actually kill me if I'm not careful, so you can bring your shotgun. Kill this thing in one hit, nice and easy. I'm just going to use my pistol. Hope to God I get lucky. There he goes, zombie in the closet. He's moving pretty quick. Take the shot, slow him down. Two bullets, and his head came off. I got lucky. Go into the closet, grab the shotgun shells. That's all that there is. Will you take the shells? Yes. Close that. Now you want to combine your clip, reload your gun, turn around and take the file off the desk. 
which is basically just the Keeper's Diary. A very interesting one. Got some interesting references to the games that a lot of people use for uh, their own fanfics. Go back out the door and I'll meet you in the corridor on the other side.